So in part one, I designed an impact resistant resin 3D printed odosis for a colleague who recently had five screws inserted into his left little finger. His previous odosis worked, but it caused discomfort, especially due to sharp edges. So we discussed running some comfort tests using 3D printing. Now for part two, I manufactured and tested a flexible and strong powder based SLS printed odosis using Formlabs TPU 90A powder, a tough elastomer with a high elongation at break performance and superior tear strength. Just like in part one, the process started with capturing a digital impression of his hand. I used a snug fit app on my iPhone which utilizes the front camera and true depth system to capture a 3D scan of the hand, the foundation for a custom made design. After checking the scan quality, I exported a mesh and imported it into Spenti's orthotic and prosthetic design software. I placed anatomical landmarks to let the algorithm handle most of the work, allowing me to digitally separate the fused fingers with just a few clicks and reposition them according to the doctor's recommendations. Then I defined the offset with a brush, sketched the orthosis directly onto the scan and set the wall thickness using a slider. Once the file was finalized, I sent the job to the Formlabs Fuse OnePlus 30W, an industrial SLS printer with a build volume of 165 by 165 by 300 mm. I printed six outdoors to evaluate the material with wall thicknesses ranging from 2 to 4 mm and fastening options with and without loop belts for straps. After printing and cooling, I moved on to post processing. First, I used the Formlabs Fuse sieve to break apart the powder cake and recover the loose material. This system is a game changer because it allows you to reclaim unused powder, store it and automatically mix it for future prints. That's also where TPU 90A really stands out. With an 80% refresh rate, most of the recovered material can be reused for the next print. The machine simply mixes 20% of fresh powder with 80% recycled powder, making this process both sustainable and cost effective. Next, I clean the parts in the Formlabs Fuse Blast, a fully automated cleaning and polishing solution that exposes the parts to blasting media from all directions. With the parts fully depowdered, I could quickly get a first impression. The 2mm wall thickness was far too soft, offering little stability. Look how easy I can fold it. The 3mm version provided better support, but in this design it was still too soft. The stiffer, impact resistant 3mm SLA printed part felt more secure. The 4mm autosis printed in TPU provided the best balance of comfort and stability. Beyond material performance, SLS shines in terms of design freedom. Since the process doesn't require support structures, it enables complex geometries, such as integrated lattices structures, designs that would be difficult or even impossible to achieve with other manufacturing methods. If you are interested in part 3, where we'll test how much these SLA and SLS orthoses can really take, share your real-world challenge ideas in the comments. Your suggestions could be part of the next video, so stay tuned.